Hey, give us your reaction to signing a new deal with AFC Wimbledon for three years that takes us through to 2024. Yeah, definitely. Very happy, very happy to say the least. You know, so credit to all the hard work that I've done. You know, the academy should be very happy, the coaching stuff. And you know, now it's time for me to kick on, hit another level and keep impressing the fans. With all the goals that you've been scoring, of course, as well, the appearances this season, was there interest from elsewhere or was it always to stay with Wimbledon for you? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, there was interest, but when the Wimbledon offer came in, I thought it was only right for me to stay here and extend the contract. I mean, I can't wait to see the fans that I've said before. And just to play in front of them, it's only right I had to sign it. What's Robbo said he wants to achieve here and what, how he wants you to be a part of it? How much does that appeal to Definitely you? Definitely, we want to achieve something great. That's, to say the least, we want to achieve something very good. Um, next year, we have a whole season to work with Robbo, so beginning from pre-season as well. So the fans can expect something special for sure. How important has that working relationship with Robbo, with Rob Tuvi been, continues to be with you? Yeah, definitely. Rob Tuvi and Robbo have worked with him for a couple of years now, so they know me very well, I know them very well. They know my strengths, my weaknesses, which helps as a young player coming through at the end of the day. I need to keep improving, keep improving, and they know what areas I need to improve in, so... That's great news, Robin, and it's exactly what we need to be doing, is being excited about our talent in the building and, um, and you know, showing our commitment to them. Obviously, we expect massive commitment from them, which he's shown. And it's exactly what we need to be doing um, with our players and our staff, recognising the quality that we've got in the building before we look outside and making sure that we, we nail them down, you know, and, um, you know, it's, it's something that we need to be, to be looking at. Four goals in 16 appearances since your league debut against Shrewsbury in March. What's life been like since then? Yeah, definitely. I think ever since the first goal at Shrewsbury, I said to myself, you know what, I could get a couple more. I mean, I'm not sure that I can do that, but saying that the same token, I reckon I could have scored more goals. That's one thing I'll be definitely working on, just being having a better conversion rate. One aspect that's I really noticed that's really impressed me about you this season is how you've changed in terms of discipline. Um, you got into a few scrapes, a few battles in your academy days. How, what do you put that down to? I would say just maturing in age as well. Just discipline comes with time and wisdom, you know. And the incident happened at 18 where I missed an important youth cup game at Sheffield. And from that, I think I learned a big lesson not to get in silly scraps and that. So definitely, yeah, just time, time I matured. Very disciplined as well this season from him too. He's only picked up one yellow card. Yeah. The story about it is behind you there. Tell us about it. Yeah, he, um, it goes back to the training ground when, when I kind of got the job. We had our values boards, as, you, as you've seen when you've been down there, sort of relentless and ownership and all the values boards. So after, in between sessions now, we get the players to pick up the equipment, um, et cetera. So we'd finish the drill and I said, lads, pick up the equipment and Woody, who I was close with, Woody picked up one of the poles and threw it like a javelin. And I thought we'd um, copy him and threw it like a javelin. Unfortunately for I, it went straight through one of our values boards, but I only saw it land in the board. I didn't actually see him through it. So um, I won't tell you what I said, hmm. but I was gonna, um, yeah, I, I lost it a little bit. And then all of a sudden they said it was I, and because we've got a bit of a relationship, I calmed down and all that started laughing, going, oh, it's I, if it wasn't I, you would have gone mad. And then. When I come to work the next home game, I found this in my office. Thought they, they've got this done as a bit of a laugh. So, yeah, that was part of his um, celebration. So we said he can't do it again because he got booked. But on that occasion, it was it was funny and it just summed up the team spirit and the lads really. Physically as well, we've spoken in the past about the fasting and so on towards the end of the season and the impact that's had upon you playing men's football, the amount of games we've had to play. How, how have you found that? I think I found it. The beginning was a bit tough. I would say as the games kicked on. My body started getting used to it, and I'll just say with the fasting, the preparation the night before, which plays a big part. So I'll say preparation helped me a lot during games, getting the right amount of carbs in before a game, and that's the main thing I would say, yeah. We've seen a few trims from Rudy Madoni this season. Are we going to see a few different ones from the family business with you for next season? Maybe, you never know. Fans have to wait and see. What's the message for the fans for next season when they come back in there? You must be really excited I'm about that. I'm really yeah. excited. I can't wait to see them. And as a team, we've got something special happening.
and I want them to see it.